Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We've got a special middle of the week match for the final week and it was against Skolski. And Skolski is from the Bespin Pirates, which is my original home in the Pirate Alliance way back when, like years and years and years ago. So it was uh, quite amusing to see that I actually got matched up against him. So yeah. Let's, um, <laughs> let's see how this ends up going. I mean, as a big spoiler, I end up losing, which is kind of annoying, but it was close. It was a 20 point, like barely 20 some point loss. It was ridiculously close. So, and then he turns around and lost the, the final battle for the entire bracket, which kind of sucked to see, but wasn't. Oh, that's surprising. But anyways. Yeah, going up against a pirate for the second time in uh, ages. This first one was Loving Saska. But that was... Months ago now? I don't remember how long ago, but... It was nice to fight uh, Gold. Even if I end up losing. <coughs> well, even though I end up losing... There is no if about it. I did lose. Mostly because of one thing. And that was my stubbornness and refusal to do a uh, Malevolent Smear match in Fleets. So, but yeah. I wish SWH.GG had updated so I could know what he had used against my teams, but it hasn't updated yet. He dropped several fights on my bounty hunters down south. He had to two-tap my Malgus. And then there was something else he ended up dropping battles on, I don't remember what, honestly. But yeah, it wasn't a clean fight for him either, even though I had substantially weaker teams on defense, he still got tripped up. Probably because of, I guess his, um, oh, maybe it was, uh, his belief that he could win with, you know, five out of six of his Galactic Legends on defense, I don't know. I should have won, but, eh, it is what it is. I had fun, that's all that matters. So yeah. Cleared out. Oh, we already cleared out one of his teams. Now we're gonna clear out his geos. But yeah, sorry for the uh, rather late recording for this voiceover. Even though you know, five v five is over. Uh, Labor Day weekend came up, and uh, I got busy. So I'll have this one. Hopefully going up maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I would imagine Wednesday because I have the first match from the final week going up tomorrow morning, Tuesday uh, morning. So I'll probably do this one Wednesday morning and then do uh, the final one Thursday. So yeah, Labor Day got in the way, college football's back, so that's also going to cause some hiccups in recording. At least, well, not during the week, just the weekends. This, uh, the first game of the season was an odd one because Oklahoma State played on a Thursday night. That's not going to be the norm, obviously. Now, for the his Kylo team, not Kylo, <laughs> I'm using Kylo. For his uh, Sith Eternal team, I maybe could have done just Kylo solo or something, but I really didn't want to risk it. So... Yeah, they're going to do... Well, obviously, I did a full first order scene. We, we don't full clear each other. I mean, I... I clear his North Zone and then a couple teams down the South. But... Um, yeah. We'll get to all that pretty soon. Okay. I know I also split the recording again. Between some fights and then other fights a little while later. Um, okay, well, there goes his Sith Eternal. Uh, 
And now for screw this. But once we get the fleet, so given the explanation as to why I actually didn't want to do well of own smears other than outside the obvious of uh, they're annoying. But yeah, um I don't have a whole lot to say for the moment. Uh Conquest started back up today. I'm in sector two at the moment because of the stored energy from the last conquest. I don't imagine I'll max crate it this time either, so I'll just do what I can, and also the changes for the Datacron nodes are kind of irking people. The fact that you can't start farming the Mark 1 maps until Sector 2, and Sector 3 and 4 you can only farm, well, Sector 3 you farm the Mark 2s, and in Sector 4 you farm the Mark 3s, and in Sector 5 you farm... Uh, the reroll mats. So, I don't exactly know why they switched it up like this. I mean, I guess we'll see how it affects everything, but yeah. Okay, let me get this paused real quick and I'll be back. Okay, now on to fleets. But, uh,. Oh, I thought the footage was lagging for a second. I'm like, oh, why am I sitting here staring at this? No, I was sitting here staring at fleets because... Um, I didn't really know how to plan for dealing with this. I f I, for some reason, I figured my rebels would be enough to contend with his uh, malevolence. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to do... Um, Malevolence mirrors because those are boring and quite annoying reason they can go parachute pretty badly So I decided I can maybe rebels it to death. I was trying to blitz son of fuck out the way first um, But yeah It's gonna come down to I think the bomber and one of the geos and the uh, Volta droid left But yeah, back to Conquest. I don't know why they switched the, uh, the nodes like that. Other than probably to force more spending or something, who knows. I'm not the CG connoisseur of knowledge here. We just, I have to roll with their punches like everyone else does. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah. Now I probably should have done the, uh, Mass assist with the beam. What is what is that? I don't know. Not the ghost. The whatever the hell it's called. That whatever the little ship is called. I probably should have done that instead of the uh, whatever I had done wrong. So whatever it is what it is. Okay, there goes spy. Now like, hopefully, yeah, I should have done that first with the uh, fan. What the hell's the name of that stupid ship? I want to call it Phoenix, but it's not that. It's not the ghost, because that's the big stupid one. I can't even think of what it's called at the moment. Jesus Christ, I'm having a massive brain fart. Anyways. Yeah, I could have done things differently. So maybe I've had this go a little bit more in my favor, but eh, it's fleets. Fleets have become quite the hassle. Anyways, pretty soon with profanity out now and all that. I don't know how that's going to be handled because I don't know how many people actually got it unlocked. It'll be interesting to see once 3v3 starts because that's what we get starting in like a week or so or something like that. It's so thrilling because that's what everyone really wanted was 3v3. Yippee. And I was hoping to kill the Hyena Bomber before he got the ults off but that didn't happen. And I lost. So we took out all of the reinforcements. No, not we didn't take out Soldier. It's the only one we didn't take out. So we're going to go and kill what now? Oh, we're going to go for the finalizer. I mean, 
if I had maybe done uh hmm maybe if I'd done the malevolent smear it would have been a little better because then I could have done the first order against this first order I could have done home one against uh, his first order and then done uh my finalizer against his whatever the hell the third one was radis or whatever but oh well mistakes happen and I could care less because I don't I didn't make Kyber one this season. I'm like kinda close to the top of Kyber two, like ranking wise, but I don't think I don't think globally I'm like ranked close to the top. Like personal uh, ranking wise I have somewhere in the mid thirty something fifty range. Whatever the hell the Kyber two top end is. Thirty five fifty, somewhere in that range is where I am. So, maybe Kyber, Kyber? Maybe 3v3 will see me go back in the Kyber one. Who knows? Who knows how much I'll care about 3v3, to be completely honest. So, yeah. Okay, are we going to do another fail? No, we're actually going to do Finalizer against Home 1. And poor, poor Home 1. It's been ripped of its best ships to be sent off to Funity. Because you can't use the uh, Millennium Falcon in the Profundity event, but the Millennium Falcon is one of the key components for both Rebel fleets. But now that the Profundity is out, everyone's using it. Well, the Millennium Falcon with the Profundity. If you have the Profundity, that is. So, I don't really know what the hell CG was thinking. They gave us one ship, new rebel ship, and that was the Raven's Claw. But um, other than that, we have no new ships to help fill out the Home One fleet. Because it looks well, I have a guy in my shard who's running the profundity. He's running um, Rebel Y Wing out front with the Outrider and. Um, Hans Millennium Falcon, like the OG Millennium Falcon, and then reinforcements he has the Ghost, the Phantom 2, that's what the name of the ship was that I forgot. And then, I don't know what his third is, honestly. But, yeah, the Rebels, we, we needed more Rebel ships. I know that sounds weird for me to say because I hate Rebels, but we need more actual ships, not capital ships. Once we get more regular ships, then maybe we can look to, you know, more capital ship CG. I know that's a wacky idea, but maybe just, maybe, hear me out here. Fill out the fleets that we have with more fucking ships, you idiots. But that's just me. Maybe because I actually played the game, who knows. Because, you know, we have, uh, we had, uh, Crumb with his tone-deaf response about Datacrons and Territory Wars. He's like, oh, well, we know how, our, how hard it is for, uh, guild leaders already, so good luck. Like, fuck off, dude. Fuck off. Okay. Now, what this, the idea of my, well, the idea was with my Resistance Fleet was to hopefully kill them all off to ensure I wouldn't have to do a third fight. But again, if I had just done my malevolence smear, none of this would have happened in the first place. So, yeah. Okay, there goes the bomber. And then... I probably should have focused that on Geo Soldier instead of the uh, Vulture Droid there. Because Ray's going to die in a second anyways. And... Uh, yeah, there you go, you idiot. Now you're shooting at the right ship. I mean, yes, there's still a whole bunch of other droid ships on the field, but... The resistance pilot there just... Resistance pilot? Or whatever the hell their name is. No, resistance pilot. Yeah, she's dodged... A whole bunch of attacks, which is nice. Annoying on... It would be annoying if I saw that on my end, but it was nice to see. And then, yeah, thanks to Rose killing off the stupid Vulture Droid, 
He could steal ults off and all my ships die. Thank you, AI, for counterattacking. I really appreciate it. I'm so thrilled, can't you tell? Because if they hadn't counterattacked, we could have maybe had one. Oh well. The reason why I didn't throw all the ships in there is because if this had failed, well, I would have obviously needed another fleet. And I was really hoping to not have to get to there. Luckily, I did not. But it shouldn't have been like this in the first place. Just all a big misplay on my own part. You live and you learn. Alright. Now that we're done with fleets, we can contend with... What little I'll do down south. Okay. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I know I'm going to end up doing the uh, Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Knight Reverend counter against this sh uh, SLKR. I was going to say ship, but I'm like, this isn't a ship. This is a Kylo. Idiot. Okay. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to the death of the Rey and Jedi Knight, uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Master <laughs> Kenobi uh, Datacrons. So that'll be a fun day once they all die off in a fiery death. And I'll be, uh, well, Wednesday whenever this video goes up. <laughs> so yeah. I wonder how well JMK will do against, um, Jedi Master Luke with Datacron. I'll be very intrigued to see that because, yeah. Okay. I mean, we lost a Revan, that's fine. But, um,. They're not going to be able to do much else because there goes Kylo. Yippee! Another, not flawless, but another victory. That's all that matters. Okay. Now for the final fight of the whole thing. Wait, is this the final fight? Hmm... No, this is not, this, this load up isn't what I'm actually going to be doing. I, that's why I was looking at my data crimes. I'm like, what do I even have left to make this all work? I don't go for that. I end up going for his Ray. Come on, click on Ray. I think he's, I think I'm finally figuring it out. There we go. Did I put in set with this? Yeah, I did. I tend to make these last second decisions so that way, if I actually need it, you know, then I can. Because with his JTR on that Ray team, uh, I kind of need something to keep the healing moody off of Sith Eternal. And I do wonder how much of a pain in the ass the getting a Lord Vader Datacron is going to be. Not looking forward to that. Because who knows uh, if I'm going to get the right rolls. I don't even know what the right rolls are because I haven't even bothered looking at it, to be completely honest. I will probably just wing it because I'm kind of really tired of caring about Datacrons. After failing to get the Darth Malgus roll that I wanted. Even with this last two territory wars, I didn't get it with the rerolls, so I'm kind of just done caring. But yeah, um, it's gonna drag on for a moment because you know she did popped in the ult at the last second. I popped mine so that way I don't die whenever she th throws around her lightsabers. Yep, and we're gonna blap Finn out. 
go throw some links around the field eventually. Not the biggest fan of JTR being out there to throw the... What is it called? You look at me, dude. I lost my train of thought again. Okay. But yeah, I'll get this all wrapped up and dealt with probably tonight. And then, like I said, I'll have it scheduled to go up uh, Wednesday morning. That way it's not two videos clashing with one another on the same day. Not that it really matters for my channel to all it, but, you know, uh, I'll just roll with I'm going to roll with the punches. There goes Finn. Not Finn, that was Poe. Whoopsie daisies. One of the resistance heroes. Don't know, don't care. Now it's just Papa Palps and his granddaughter. And there she goes. So long. Thanks for showing up, Ray. Hate your datacron. I'm glad it's over. But yeah. Uh, let me look at the, what the final score was. I can't remember. Give me one second. Okay. The final score was one thousand forty-three to one thousand twenty-seven. So I lost by almost uh, twenty points. So yeah, but yeah, it was fun facing another pirate. But thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.